I'm gonna show you a free Shopify alternative like you've never seen before. With this tool, you can create a custom drop shipping store in five minutes. It's easy, fast, and affordable. I'm gonna pick one of my winning products that I have chosen in the past. All right guys, here's the product that I chose for my website and I made this website in less than five minutes, completely free. All right, it is free to get started. As you can see, it is giving you all the reviews, the con currency conversion, and the website uh, making for free. All right, so let me show you how I did it. Just so you know, if you were to pay this for on Shopify, you would have to pay the Shopify fees, which is $29.99 USD. You would have to pay the current cur uh, currency conversion fee, which is $10.99. You have to pay for Locks Reviews, which is $14.99. And you would have to pay for a bunch of other apps just to get your store up and running. So like just like that, you can have your store up and running in five minutes. Obviously, if I didn't have to explain you guys how to do it, I would have done it like that, right? And there you have it. You can start running ads on this store. like. It's, it's a no-brainer. I use Sell the Trend to create my dropshipping store for completely free, all right? So to get started, you can actually check out the link in the description below. We'll go to Dashboard, and then we'll go create our store. I've actually started with my name as Clean Tushy. What that means, pretty much you know what that means, because my, my product is a bidet, so it, it seemed like a perfect fit for it. So go to Shop Settings. We're gonna go to Shop Home. I've already created myself a logo using Photoshop. I actually found this on Google, uh, Google Images, and I actually just added the letters in. So it was that simple. If you wanna use the tool for Sell the Trend, it is a must to install Sell the Trend Chrome extension. I'll put a link for that in the description as well, so be sure to check it out. All right, once you've installed the Chrome extension, this logo will come up on your screen. Pretty much as soon as you click this, it will transfer this product into your Sell the Trend shops. Cool? Cool, okay? As you can see, adding product to import list. Go to list. Once you have added and imported it to your Sell the Trend shops, all you have to do is click Add to Store. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, before you can add it to your store, you, you actually get a chance to customize it. So be sure to add anything that you think you wanna add in the description. But keep in mind, uh, you have to select one of the images as your title image. Also, you cannot add new images just yet. You actually have to push it to store, and then after, you can remove and edit whatever images you want, as well as the description. All right, so here we have it. I was able to create my own store just like that without a lot of editing. So you can still see, I have to still put in a bit of work if I wanna make it look good and be able to sell this product. As you can see, it's just, has a random products, uh, you know, imported right from AliExpress. So what we're gonna actually do, we're gonna come over here and click on Edit Shop. And in here, I actually, I actually wanna edit this section. So we're gonna go to Edit Section, Edit Variants, and we're gonna remove all the variants that we don't need. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, perfect. So we were able to remove all the variants and as you can see, it comes in color white, so that's it. And if you wanted to buy one, you can buy one or two, multiple ones. So now let's go ahead and edit the price. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so much. I would like to sell it for $49.99 because I know that's where I'm gonna make good margins. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're actually gonna remove compare price completely. Okay, so that's in US dollars. So let's go ahead and change that again. Okay, perfect. I'm happy with this price right here. And now let's see if we can put in some work in the description and make it look really good and appealing to the buyer. Also, some of these images need, like, they need to get rid of. So let's get in rid, rid of those images right over here. All right, now that we got rid of the images that we didn't need, let's go ahead and work in the description and see what we need and what we don't need. All right, let's do that. All right, some things to keep in mind quickly. Uh, all of these random words that are here regarding countries, it's pretty much telling you they have a different nozzle for their toilet for each different country. So it's gonna be up to you to figure out that when customers place their order, right? If the, if the order is coming from America, then you know exactly which nozzle to sell them. That's not up to the customer to decide. You have to decide for them because of the um, address they have inputted there. So keep that in mind so we, we're not gonna need these images because we're gonna decide this for the customer.
All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is actually edit the name because the name, there's a lot of words going on. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, simple, easy, clean, tushy, bade. Okay, once that's done, let's go ahead and, and do, do the reviews now. Okay guys, so to do the reviews, you actually have to come back on the dashboard and come over here where it says import reviews. You just have to click one button and all the reviews will be imported. All right guys, now that the reviews are imported, as you can see, 62 reviews imported, all you have to do is go to product page and check out if it worked. Perfect, 60 reviews right there. Just so you know, if you were to pay this for on Shopify, you would have to pay the Shopify fees, which is $29.99 USD. You would have to pay the current uh, currency conversion fee, which is $10.99. You have to pay for Locks Reviews, which is $14.99. And you would have to pay for a bunch of other apps just to get your store up and running. So like, just like that, you can have your store up and running in five minutes. Obviously, if I didn't have to explain you guys how to do it, I would have done it like that, right? And there you have it. You can start running ads on this store. like. It's, it's a no-brainer. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Obviously, I put in a lot more work and energy into my store when I created it. And I, I, I suggest you do the same thing. Obviously, they can create a store in five minutes, but that doesn't mean you should only spend five minutes on your store. Um, after you know, after that, I took some uh, images into Photoshop, removed the name over here, the, the AliExpress name that was there, as well as I uh, edited the name. Uh, description over here I edited the pictures so just like that you can create your own store in under five minutes keep in mind it's simple easy and affordable it's a hundred percent free to get started so please be sure to check out the link in the description below sell the trends shop it's an amazing Shopify alternative just to remind you again reviews and currency can result in a very high conversion and this is a no-brainer, right? You're paying no money to get started and you can start running ads. And obviously if you have a domain, please be sure to go on Google domains and purchase one. And that way you can literally be running ads on this store, have the store up and running in less than five minutes. It's so easy and affordable and fast. It's a no-brainer. For a limited time only, you can check out the link in the description below because right now you don't need a credit card to get started. Keep that in mind. Anyone without a credit card can get started for a limited amount of time. So be sure to check out the link in the description below if you want to be able to create a store like this in five minutes and without a headache you know if you have ever created a Shopify store how much of a headache it is you have to do the coding this that that if you're just getting started and if you want to just test the product to see if it works or not this is the perfect way to do it you will save so much time and money 